danger south of the border. The U.S. issuing travel advisories for Mexico. Some Americans thinking about traveling to Mexico may be reconsidering. New image emerging, armed troops protecting one of the country's most important resources, tourists. Government says it has limited ability to provide emergency services to citizens in Mexico. So far, our experience in Mexico has been very different than what the news portrays. Not only did we feel safe and confident sleeping at this free camp spot, we also talked to some locals who said that we would be absolutely safe here. We still have a lot to learn about van life in Mexico, but today we're sharing our first impressions, which have been FNA. But will the trend continue? You'll have to stay tuned to find out. We are leaving our first camp spot here in Baja and heading to the second, hopefully. I feel like not confident yet in our abilities to camp here, but give it a week and I think it'll be fine. She's not just saying that for the video. She definitely doesn't feel confident because we're not even close to the, well, we're kind of close to the place, we're 10 minutes away and she's already freaking out about a place to sleep at night and it's only 11.30 in the, in the day. I want to make sure that we have something good before sunset. We're heading to a bit of a touristy spot. It's called La Bufador. And then hopefully there's some camping nearby. It sounds like we might have to pay for this spot, which I think is going to be pretty common here in Baja, Mexico. These are the views we've been waiting for. Don't get too close to the edge now. We are just south of Ensenada, and this is definitely better than the city. Yeah. Even in the States, we don't love being in cities, and same goes for Mexico. The cities that we came through were very congested and packed and just busy. You could feel the energy of the city again. So Tijuana was just too busy for us, and we are just glad to be back on the coast. Oh, so Hi. We're going to take a quick photo on the roof. I figured that. Yeah, it's, can you see it? You can see it, obviously. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Instagram is at work, you know? Yeah, there it is right there. The view is incredible, but one thing that we've noticed as soon as we got into Mexico, there's a little bit of garbage everywhere. So we were trying to pick up bits as we go, but there's just so much that it's almost impossible to clean it all. A guy came by our camp spot yesterday and cleaned up the direct area in front of us and then asked for a tip and we gave him one, which is fine. But then what do you do with it? But then he left the whole bag of trash right next to our campsite. <laughs> so it's like you cleaned it up so that it was nice for us, but then you didn't actually take the trash anywhere. But anyways, we're doing what we can. And you know, that's one maybe not so great first impression. How do we drive back or even turn around? What do you mean you literally just turn around? Don't worry, I got this. It's definitely slow season. You can tell by how many people are out here. So everybody's gonna very much want your business, which is totally understandable. They're looking for people to make a living off of. Hey, wait, wait. No, no gracias. Try, this is awesome. That's probably why half the stands are closed as well. Uh, people parking. probably close up shop. See where it says parking? Yeah, but I wonder if that's like 100 pesos. We're gonna find out. If and it if is, not, we can we always turn around. turn around and go back. ¿Cuánto? 60 or 3 dólares? 3 dólares. Right now we're in La Bufadora. It's kind of chilly by the water right now. Throwing on this nice fleece I got here. We just paid for parking, we paid for two people. We didn't have exactly enough, but they let us in. So we, we showed them two pesos, not on purpose, but we just didn't have enough on us. We're walking down the streets. It's all of these vendors and things to buy. Lots of free samples trying to pull you in, get you to buy something. Everything's been super sweet yeah. or full of meat. So. Yeah, super sweet, full, <laughs> full of meat. meat. Hey, lote, lote. It's a baby in a basket. They like each other. Papa. Okay. You making new friends? 
How is it? Yummy? I'll try it, bud. Oh, yeah. Feed your BFF. Let's see what you think. Not good, right? Not a fan. What's wrong with you guys? All right, guys. I'll give you two Michelas for the dog right there. One of the vendors was actually successful on roping us in, promising us the best vegan tacos we'll ever have. Were they the best? Two guys. Ooh, thank you so much. Thank you, brother. We appreciate you. No problem, sir. All right, special order veggie tacos. Let's see how they go. How is it? Very good? Mm -hmm. Very good. Ooh, I got a little bit of a kick already. Just I asked smell? for some spicy sauce, so I think it, this might this might throw me over the edge. Yep, that's hot. Oh. <laughs> yeah. oh. 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 I'm just gonna start crying here, surely. <laughs> the choice is really good. A little soggy, but well worth it. I'm on fire back here. Oh, I believe it. You look like yeah. it. <laughs> oh, bless your heart. We have officially paid for our first camp spot in Mexico, and it is well worth it. 200 pesos, which is $10. Turn around and look at that view. This camp spot totally had the PNW vibes. The cliff edges, the drop-offs, and the blowhole was located directly below us. So when the water would shoot through, you would feel it misting through the air. We're practicing our miming yeah. for the mime convention. It's the only reason we came to Baja for the for the international miming convention. You didn't, you didn't hear about it? Did we not tell you about that? You're joking, right? No. No, we're gonna go hang out with all the mimes. Why? We like to paint our faces white and and wear shirts with stripes. You know? Nick. <laughs> <laughs> We didn't do a little tour on the way to the bathroom. Oh! oh. <laughs> Chipped over his own food. Where are we Maybe they have trash. Just leave it. Come on. Alex, do you want to go to the bathroom? Yeah. Yeah? I got to clean up each one of these. No, you one don't. One. Yeah, because then there might be ants. Oh my god. You know? The first thing you should know about this camp spot is that it's a little bit windy, but the views are great. We decided to park all the way down at the end so that we would have the beautiful views out the back, but there are also some more amenities that we're not actually using. This is a perfect little area to kind of hang out, throw your drinks out, just have a good time. They even have a little spot to cook over here. If you get some wood or some charcoal, you can cook right there on the fire. Now what I'm really interested in is the baños, so we're gonna go check those out now. Ooh. Oh! There's a real toilet. That's exciting. That's nice. Do you got yeah. toilet paper on there? No. Open this. The toilet works! Wow! I don't know Spanish, but I knew what that meant. <laughs> I'm glad that I didn't have to number two. That would have been dangerous. I'm going to number two right now. Are you? Yeah, now that I know that there's a bathroom that I can use. Oh yeah. It looks like they're building some more stuff here, so maybe by next winter, it'll be even more built up and beautiful. I love how they used wooden pallets to build the house. It's truly inspiring to see how they make something out of nothing. One of the most obvious first impressions that you'll have when you're here in Mexico is that the buildings just look a little bit different. They might not have the same codes as in America, but that doesn't mean that they don't serve the same purpose. Wood, spout. That was perfect timing, huh? <laughs> Nick and Erica have turned us into winos. Thanks, Cheers. guys. <laughs> Alex, we're in Baja right now. Why is there a blanket on us? I think what we've learned is that the Pacific coast of Baja is currently freezing and windy and cold. We're going to head 
up through the winery and then over to the golf side where it's currently like 89 and sunny and the water's as warm as a bathtub. I like bathtubs. I think that sounds great. It's not bad if you hide behind the van and sit in the sun. And enjoy this beautiful view. Yeah. It's gonna be in the 60s and low 70s all into next week. So we came for the beach. We did not come here to be dressed like it's Alaska summer. Someone actually commented on our story that it's warmer in Alaska right now than it is here in Baja, California. He does not look yeah, happy Yeah, I don't think it. you look happy, bro. Look, he's in a sweater. He's got all his teeth out, which means that he's not okay with it. Paco needs the sunshine. Check out, he's gonna be so excited when we get to the beach. Even though it's cold outside, I couldn't deal with making like a real breakfast this morning. So we're gonna do our easy <laughs> oats. It's like a muesli that blew in my face. And then we've got our organic cashew milk yogurt and just a bunch of fruit. And I'm gonna make just one bowl and Frankie and I are gonna share. First impressions of Mexico. Mm, not as scary as we thought. Nice, I like that. Tijuana was crazy though. Yeah, just, just happy the to get out of there. there. Yeah. Um, just the people coming up to the window and it's just, yeah, big city. Besides everybody's speaking Spanish, um, it doesn't really feel like we're in a different country yet. I mean, see, seems very safe. A lot colder than we expected. Winery today? I hope so. Are you guys still team winery? Team wine, let's go. Whoa, I forgot I was wearing these <laughs> Oh my god, I love it. I want you to come here and open this. And then, t and then touch. Go ahead. Yeah, touch. Can you smell it? How do I do it? Just take a yeah, bunch? Yeah, take one. A whole thing? I don't know how much. Yeah, take a whole thing. That's a lot of tortilla. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Oh. Gracias. What's your name? Fernando. Fernando. Mucho Frank. gusto. Saludos para todos los las personas de Estados Unidos. Sí. Muchos saludos. Sí. Un abrazo. So heavy. I can barely pick it up. I'm with it. What? Oh, you already eat one? How is it? It's so good. Wow. Out of control. Mucho bueno. What do you think, Paco? <laughs> I don't think he likes it. No, very bad. Everybody says like it's cheaper to eat out, but I think it's actually cheaper to eat in. I'm gonna grab another one for the road. Experiencing the food here has been just like otherworldly, something that we're never, we haven't been used to. So good. Yo, take a bite. Mm. How fresh. I'm very good, bad. We're gonna be bread monsters. We're noticing that there's a lot of the same brands here in Baja that there is in the States, so that makes us feel pretty comfortable, like we're at home. What you doing? Put your washer wash. fluid, but this is bug wash. Nice. You really need dust wash more than bug wash. Yeah, and salt or wash. Salt wash. <laughs> Where'd you get it from? AutoZone. Get in the zone. AutoZone. Wow. Driving in the busy areas is kind of crazy. I'm kind of used to it because of the whole Brooklyn, Manhattan experience driving. If you are from a place where you have wide open areas, it's gonna feel very crazy and hectic driving around here. I'm like, can't decide if I'm hot or cold. There have been some hairy moments of like, oh, that was close, oh, that was tight. Um, but Frank is an excellent driver and I'm glad that he's on the wheel and not me. Thank you, babe, I appreciate that. You're welcome. It's a very nice compliment. One thing that you will see all the time here is when you are stopped at stoplights, people are hustling to make a dollar. Like either they have some type of peanuts, pistachios, or some type of juice. A or... whole thing of cotton candy. Yeah, I saw one person with gummy bears. So they're always hustling, that's for sure. You're also gonna see a lot more people with military grade guns. So they're kind of riding around in big Jeeps and like standing on the back of them with their machine guns. I think it's just, uh, you know, la policia. Nobody's bothered us so far. Costco still has the cheapest gas. It's 19.69 a liter here. So we're gonna fill up while we drive through town. And it's a Costco. You have a Costco. 
What's the difference between Costco and buying Costco in California? It's gonna be in Spanish and you're gonna be able to pump it yourself. I have no idea what that says right there. Uh, ingresso refer para flexa y persona enter. What'd you put? Grande? And I hit that red. And then you got, yeah, regular. Ah, well, regular. And then it got to this part, and I'm thinking that that means just to fill up. Yeah, full. Like, if you want to pick that, and then yeah. I'm gonna pick Grande. SUV, and then just, I don't know. This guy knows no Spanish at all. He just clicked Zero. through the buttons and figured it out. That's why we got to be able to read and speak the language. So it makes transactions a lot easier. So learn Spanish. It's very important to know it anyway, because in a lot of places in the world, you could use Spanish. I was certainly not expecting to come to Mexico and go on a winery tour, but here we are. So we might as well dress for the occasion. Ooh, don't we look good? Ooh, that's a good drink. But first, let's snack. This is all the stuff that we just got at the market. Tortillas, some fresh veggies, quinoa, all the goods, baby, and a taco. <laughs> Round two. What you guys got there? Cabernet Syrah Merlot. And All in Cabernet one? Cabernet Syrah. Yes. What about yeah. yours? You didn't say what same, yours? Same thing. Papa, you want some? You came in. This is the Appalachian Stroll the Garden. Really? Oh yeah. Clearly we are nowhere near harvest season, but it would be very cool to be here during the festivals. Apparently they have great big parties to celebrate the wine being picked. Okay, the What do you think? I don't know what's happening down His there. These pants are gonna fall down in like four seconds. <laughs> good thing I didn't really wear a belt, thing. huh? <laughs> Nick just radioed over that the winery that we're gonna stay at tonight for our harvest host is actually closing in 50 minutes, which is so cool that we could be at the winery and then stay there for the night as well. Thank you, harvest host. We actually looked at maybe getting a harvest host membership for the trip, but there's really not any further south from here. All right, guys, not that we gotta hurry, but we only have 20 minutes to get this tasting. Mexico actually has a deep tradition of creating wine, and they have the oldest winery in all of the Americas, founded in 1597. Today, we're sampling some newer varietals. In the, in the palabra, what do you think? Fresh, Very good. Fresh I like the white. Oh, it smells so good. It's like a cognac. Whoa. Intensive. Oh, that's delicious. Very sweet. We're staying at the winery tonight, which is so cool. We just drove into the back parking lot. We have an amazing view. And I just whipped up a super simple dinner for Patriots beef with a bunch of taco seasonings and then a really simple salad and the fresh tortillas that we got this afternoon at the Mercada. So excited. We were lazy and did not set up the table, so we're gonna enjoy these tacos from our bed with a spectacular view. The first country of our nine and nine adventure has blown away all of our expectations, but it couldn't be all sunshine and rainbows. First impressions of Baja Beach Life. Never coming back. 